Hello, student doctors. It's time for some data, a little update on the project. Stage two. Woo! I'd like to dedicate this video to my aged father. The objective is to sterilize these 3D printed masks. Cut the single walled 3D printed material into pieces. N equals three. Group zero is sterile. Group one with the plastic through. Group two, sterile again. These results can be summarized here. Group zero, no growth. Group one, definite growth. Group two, after the autoclave, no growth. So what you can conclude is Lori Batoni broth is sterile. Uh, 3D plastic is not whereas autoclaving works. So the main goal of this research is to determine a, a nice treatment for sanitizing or sterilizing. So groups three, four, and five that were inoculated with E. coli were used in the subsequent experiments. Uh, we used soap and bleach plus peroxide, soap, bleach, and the autoclave, and soap plus bleach plus peroxide plus the autoclave to see if there's any growth after growing overnight basically plastic that was bathed in a vat of E. coli. So using Dawn liquid detergent, 10 mils or 10 percent, bring that up to around 50 mils with water, and add the rest with bleach. Do a little mixing, a little more mixing, put 3D printed plastic into Erlenmeyer flasks, Put those flasks full of plastic and bleach and soapy water in the shaker for 20 minutes at 37 degrees. Rinse in water. Remember the goal is to determine whether soap, bleach, peroxide, autoclaving, or all three is effective at sanitizing or sterilizing. For this experiment, I just used garden variety peroxide back in the shaker for another 20 minutes. I don't think this guy knows that I'm essential. I hope I don't get arrested for being a scientist. The plastic in autoclavable pouch with cheesecloth and then wrapped up in tin foil. folded these things up, labeled them appropriately, and then we get to put them in the autoclave. After the autoclave, we put them in the shaker overnight. So after shaking in the incubator, what I found when I came in the next morning was no growth in any sample, which suggests that sanitization and sterilization works. You can see that a little bit better here. So there was no growth whatsoever. Recall here the overall goal is to determine the extent to which these 3D printed masks are autoclavable. And they are. Even more important, they're sanitizable. And no autoclaving is actually necessary. So what I'd like to do here is thank you, my father, for teaching me practically everything I know. Moreover, providing an example for me to follow. You've been an inspiration for my whole life, and I appreciate you so much. You who have had double heart, 
bypass, a double bypass, double cabbage, as well as a new aorta and a pacemaker, all at the ripe old age of 87. The life we are saving with these masks just might be yours. Stay safe, my friend.